Jacques Demy's classic The Umbrellas of Cherbourg is a colourful, vibrant musical where no line of dialogue remains unsung. Focusing on Guy, a young man working at a garage, and his relationship with the young woman Genevieve, who works at an umbrella shop owned by her mother, to their youthful carefree mindset. Their relationship is the world and nothing shall stand between them. However, the film explores the theme of uncertainty and how it applies to the central character's futures. The theme of uncertainty is a universal one which not only applies to the central characters but to each viewer too. Nobody truly knows what lies waiting in the future outside of speculations and this can be both a daunting and exciting prospect. In Jacques Demy's film it's bittersweet. One evening as both Guy and Genevieve finish at work, they plan a night at the theatre and dancing. Genevieve, even wearing an outfit full of pins due to her enthusiasm to meet her boyfriend in her new yet unfinished dress, emphasising the sense of carefree youthfulness. On their way back home, they dreamfully plan their futures regarding children, Genevieve wishing to name her daughter Francois, as she is certain she won't have a son as her family has always had daughters, and even planning what they wish to do with their lives, Guy wishing to start his own garage business, and Genevieve initially thinking of opening up her own umbrella shop, almost instantly disregards it. They're full of hopes and dreams, but they're unsure where they really wish to go with their lives at this point. Genevieve's mother one day receives a letter telling her she is behind on her rent payments, and that if she is unable to pay, her business and home shall be seized. Desperate to find the money, she attempts to sell a necklace at a local jeweller's, where she and Genevieve meet a jewel salesman called Roland Cassard, the very same Roland from Jacques Demy's earlier film Lola, an attempt to provide certainty. Roland offers to buy the necklace to assist in supporting them through their financial woes. For Genevieve and her mother, they know nothing about Roland, but for Roland, a fondness is established for Genevieve, and for viewers of Jacques Demy's film Lola, it is known that Roland's also shared the experience of uncertainty. Disruption hits Genevieve's and Guy's relationship. Guy is preparing to depart for Algeria, as he is enlisted into the military, and will only return after two years if he's to return at all. To Genevieve and Guy, this is not unlike experience in the apocalypse, as their song hits an emotional swelling that encapsulates the thoughts of uncertainty, Genevieve expressing a reluctance to function without a partner. Guy, in an attempt for optimism, suggests they should only be happy in their final moments, and the two have sex on the night of Guy's departure, resulting in Genevieve's eventual pregnancy. The day of Guy's departure, the emotional swelling hits such an intensity, it's difficult not to experience their pain for ourselves. For new viewers to Jacques Demy's film, it's uncertain what is to happen between Guy and Genevieve. What must be rushing through the minds of these two characters is relatable for anyone who has experienced heartbreak or loss. During Guy's absence, a discussion between Genevieve and her mother results in her mother suggesting that Genevieve is likely to meet more people, friends and partners, and she shouldn't focus on what has already been, as her life is still ahead of her. A youthful future shrouded in uncertainty does not not necessarily mean the uncertainty needs to be pejorative. Genevieve even expresses that with each passing day her memory of Guy is more of the memory of the photograph he had sent rather than memories of him. An element of certainty presents itself in the form of Roland who visits Genevieve and her mother one evening for dinner. His motives are clear, he wishes to see Genevieve, complimenting her, but when Genevieve wishes to leave feeling unwell and wishing to go to bed, Roland is respectful and willing to leave upon Genevieve's departure. Roland asks Genevieve's mother for her permission to propose to her daughter, revealing his past of falling in love with a woman who didn't love him, a summary of Roland's experience in Jacques Demy's Lola, and how, if Genevieve doesn't share his feelings, he will respect her choice. The element of certainty with Roland is that he is able to provide financial stability to Genevieve, and is respectful of her and her emotions. The closer Genevieve and Roland become, the larger the distance between Genevieve Genevieve and Guy. Upon Guy's return to France, through his bedridden aunt, he discovers Genevieve had married and moved away, likely to Paris, her mother's umbrella shop having been sold, and is now being transformed into a laundromat. Guy recognised that Genevieve had seemed different in her letters, but was unaware of how drastic
drastic the changes would be. Quitting his job over an argument with his boss, finding solace in drinking excessively and spending the night with a prostitute, coincidentally also named Genevieve, Guy finds it difficult to move on from Genevieve and finds himself in a downward spiral, the character's lowest point, and uncertainty seems to gift him with misfortune on misfortune. Upon discovering that his aunt has finally died from Madeline, the young woman who used to care for her in her last years, Madeline expresses that Guy has lost any sense of goals in his life. She doesn't wish to stay around if he is unable to change. This moment is an epiphany and a motivation for Guy's eventual improvement. He begins to finally attain his dream of own in his own garage business, one he discussed with Genevieve those years before, while Guy and Madeline's relationship develops into love. The discussion with Madeline at Guy's lowest point in the film serves as the motivation for Guy to improve his life. Uncertainty affects everyone, but if hard work, self-improvement and a strong will are utilised, the uncertainty is less pessimistic. Uncertainty can also encompass the positive achievements which Guy eventually discovers. It's a life-affirming message that Jacques Demy's film presents to us. Everything seems perfect. Madeline is decorating Guy's garage for Christmas. The two of them have had a healthy and playful son named Francois, but upon Madeline and Francois leaving to meet Santa Claus, Guy meets a seemingly unlikely customer, Genevieve. Her car receives a petrol top-up while she talks briefly with Guy. Guy's son and Genevieve's daughter share the same name, Francois, a name that was discussed all those years ago for their own children while walking back from the theatre. Their lives have driven them into very different positions, but despite how they have changed and grown into adults, the two will always share a connection in their past, no matter how uncertain the future may become. The film as it ends is life-affirming and bittersweet. The heartache these two had felt during their departure to the brief meeting they share in the end. Although these two are likely very happy in the current lives they lead, it is difficult to not consider how things may have been different if their relationship hadn't ended. That level of uncertainty about the possibility of other outcomes, what could have been, is one of the most universal ideas that Jacques Demy's film offers. In conclusion, Jacques Demy's Umbrellas of Cherbourg is a musical which manages to, on a surface level, capture the story of two young adults in love that drift apart. And while this narrative is an emotional one, digging deeper into the film's themes reveals a narrative that is universal and applicable to every viewer. Whether it is in regards to relationships or other opportunities, each viewer has likely considered at some point or another about different possibilities, what could have been, and what has yet to come. Jacques Demy's film encapsulates these emotions and considerations into one of the most memorable, understated musical films of all time.